Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be looking at what probably is going to be the final Max Raid uh, event for Sword and Shield before the DLCs get released. We've just had news that the DLCs will be released on the 17th of June in that new trailer that dropped a few minutes ago, which is incredible. I can't wait for them i am sure you're the same uh, if you want to check out my live reaction to the uh, the trailer release you can uh, check that out up, up above I'll, I'll link that for you guys and you can check that out where i discuss a lot of things that were, were seen in that trailer but very exciting times but on to more pressing things like i said this is probably going to be the last event update for the the actual sword and shield titles prior to the dlcs coming out we'll probably get more when the dlcs do drop um and as always i will cover any that we do get when they do because i think we're going to get new den areas to explore in the isle of armor when that does come around so um we had the gmax meowth event recently and uh, that has um, unfortunately ended now that has ended with at about 20 minutes ago uh, so that is no longer going to be obtainable but th it's, a, it's a bit of a surprising one I was like are they going to drop the uh, GMAX uh, starter Pokemon Kanto starters or something like that or just something special to kind of cap off um, the, 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 the end of Sword and Shield before the DLCs drop are we going to get GMAX Melmetal which we know is in the game code that isn't obtainable yet so that was kind of my thinking unfortunately not uh, so we've still got those to look forward to um, on a positive side of things uh, this time we have got pretty much every single gmax pokemon available to us for the next month so um as always if we hop over to cerebi.net uh, we can have a look at um i don't think joe's had a chance to put the details up with this specific pokemon yet so we can just have a look uh you can see here the um the event is running from june the 2nd until june the 29th so we've got a decent amount of time it's going to extend past uh the dlc's being released in a couple of weeks time um so make sure you do take the opportunity to grab the gmax pokemon that you don't have already or don't have access to because one of the things that i really love about this event is pokemon sword players are now able to finally um hunt for gmax lapras and gmax gengar which haven't been available before in pokemon shield uh, sword and in pokemon shield you are going to be getting charizard and You've probably had Charizard before. I'm not too sure on the ones that are in Shield, but you obviously, I think it's Machamp, and then maybe Duraludon is the other one. Maybe the other one. I'm not too sure. Not being a Sword player, I'm not 100% sure on these, so I'm just kind of taking a, a wild stab in the dark. But as Sword players are going to get access to gmax lapras which is one thing i'm very excited about and gmax gengar uh, i don't know the drops on any of the special items but i'd imagine there will be some special items with these pokemon and um, but as you can see in pokemon shield you're now going to have access to gigantamax snorlax gengar kingler lapras garbador Corviknight, appleton toxicity the amped form which previously we had access to the low key form and now it's vice versa with sword and shield uh center scorch grimmsnarl alchemy uh the duraludon uh, and that is everything for pokemon sword and then in pokemon shield we're going to get access to snorlax charizard butterfree machamp or beetle dreadnaw uh colossal flapple Sandaconda, Toxicity, Loki form, which was previously the Amp form, Hatterene, and Copper Raja. So, uh, very exciting, very exciting indeed. And um, yeah, I think it's a nice end to the, the GMAX events that we've had running in the games up to now. So, um, if I do get any details about anything special about what the Pokemon can uh, you can acquire when you catch them item wise if there's anything like that I will update down in the the comments I will I will pin a comment and there will be updates there if there's anything special do do check back if you have got a minute anyway so uh, over to the game as you can see we'll do this for the final time I've got a G Max Meowth in here and um, oh what are we doing what we want to do is come over to our mystery gifts and this is how we uh, update get the wild area news connect to the internet it's supposed to be about the millionth time we've done this but just for those of you who are new and don't know already or those of you just like seeing how to do this over and over we'll do it again so uh, you connect to the internet receive the updates to the wild area so now when we click into this den it should shouldn't be 
G max me out. It should be something else. Ooh, center scorch. Okay. Well, it's kind of nice because uh, this den's actually a shiny den. Um, so we're going to be able to get ourselves a shiny center scorch right now, which is kind of cool. I set this up. I set this this Meowth den up um, through the week, ready for these updates, thinking that we get something really cool. And uh, it is really cool. I love this event. Um, I would have been happier if this was maybe Lapras, but it's all right. It's all right. It's a center scorch. Uh, one of the G-Max Pokemon I haven't played around with too much in competitive, but I do think it's got... Uh, a decent amount of potential um obviously four times re weak to rock and it is only a three star so um we should be able to take this one down pretty easily um but yeah it's going to be a nice event i think being able to kind of cycle through and just have access to all the G Max Pokemon pretty easily in a nice pool as well it means you can shiny hunt for some of the ones that are a bit harder to get otherwise especially you shield players that maybe want to get Charizard as a G Max shiny because uh, I know the last G Max event where it was available it was shiny locked so I would assume for this one it's probably not shiny locked and you're going to be able to get it that way which is a, a really nice opportunity for you shield players out there um, and obviously vice versa for, for sword players with Gengar and Lapras that we've never had access to before. Just makes getting these Pokemon a little bit easier. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what moves, uh, what items we do get with this Center Scorch. And this is a Flash Flyer one. Nice. Okay, I'll take it. I do kind of like the White Smoke, but uh, Flash Fires, I still think is good. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what the next... I would imagine with the DLCs, we'll probably get a an event. I guess this event will end on the 29th, which will indicate the next date that we'll get um, an event for the DLCs. And that's going to be kind of exciting because I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get a lot of new Pokemon um, in the DLCs, which we've already seen a bunch of them confirmed. Um, so I'd imagine we'll probably get either the, the Sword and Shield starter Pokemon and their G-Max forms, potentially, uh, or we may get the uh, Venusaur Blastoise if they're not obtainable in the games. Although with the new trailer, uh, if you don't want spoilers on that, skip over this right now. Uh, it does look like we're going to be able to get the, the starters with their G-Max, counter starters with their G-Max um, ability uh, given to us. Right, what are we going to catch it in? Got to catch it in something good. Uh, fast ball. Mm. Level ball. Yeah, we'll go with a level ball. Level ball, kind of nice. Watch, it's going to pop out, isn't it? I'm just praying it doesn't. I'm praying it doesn't. Um, yeah, but uh, it'll be interesting, whatever. I think it's exciting just getting the DLC and then having access to all these kind of unknowns that would make it very exciting to get these, these new Pokemon. So the next event is going to be super good. Come on, one more. Come on. Come on. Get it. Okay, what a way to wrap up the video today. Uh, it is going to be quite a short one. Today, there's not too much else to cover. Um, wow, we don't really get very many items at all. We get uh, seven medium candies to get lots of Dynamax candies, which is amazing. So that might be the uh, that might be the, the thing that we get. And uh, for someone like myself that's really low on Dynamax candies all the time because of building teams and things like that, this is going to be a really good event if we can cycle through and get lots more Dynamax candies and stuff like that. But my friends, uh, I, I think that about wraps up the video for, for myself. It's been amazing uh, covering these events in Sword and Shield. I'm looking to forward to covering a lot more on the dlcs isle of armor crown tundra when they do come around uh thank you just so much for all of the support on the channel uh, and for these videos that i've been doing these update videos i i've really enjoyed doing them and i hope you guys have as well hope you find them useful and uh, it's something that i want to continue on uh, in the future so with that i will say have a great day go watch the trailer if you if you're not kind of keeping yourself spoiler free go watch it enjoy it and get yourselves hyped up for the dlcs that are coming in a little under two weeks well a little over two weeks time so um have a great rest of your day my friends and i will speak to you all very soon so until then take care and bye bye